this video, we're going to show how to create a, a TFW file. That's a world uh, georeference file for your um, GRF TIFF. So when you're creating a georeference TIFF, sometimes the georeference can be embedded directly into the TIFF itself, or it can be an additional file that comes out. Some programs require that additional file. For example, Trimble Access does require that file. So let's say, for example, I went through the photogrammetry process and I clicked Create Deliverables and I exported a compressed TIFF file. The file that we'd end up getting is this file um, as the finished export, this file. And so there is no annex file that comes with it. If I put that directly into Access and I click on it, you'll get this error message. You'll also get the error message in other programs that just require an additional world file. We're going to show how you can use a QGIS to create that file. So QGIS is a free program that you can download at present. Hopefully you guys can still support that um, uh, developer for allowing this possibility. Now, the process is as follows. Go to layers, go to add layers, go to add raster layer, okay? Once you tap on that, locate your file. So here's my file, tap open, tap add. Notice default, default, add. Once that's added, and then now we're gonna go to raster. We're gonna go conversion, which is gonna allow us to then create the conversion file and translate. Okay, in this screen, there's a few things that are important to be set. For example, you can override the coordinate system that's in there. We won't. We will accept it as is. In the profile, we're going to set it to default. In the additional command, you need to put in a specific string command. The string command is what you're seeing here that I'm going to paste in. I'm going to zoom in so you can kind of see that. So it's a dash co space. TFW equal yes. So you want that file, right? You're going to pick the location of where you want this file to go out. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. So save file. Desktop. I'm going to just call it uh, file. So I'm lazy. Save and run. And now two files are created. In my Trimble Access backend, I'm going to paste these two files. So I'm going to go copy, paste, just so you can see it. All right. So it's saying that because I'm using QGIS, it's obviously linked to that file. So I'm going to close QGIS right now. Discard. Try again. And there's the file. So I have file and I have file. Now I'm going to see that in here. Tap on it. And you can see that that file is loaded directly in the correct location. Just the same way as you see a point here, point 11. Same point there, point number five. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And that's how to create a TFW file for free thanks to QGIS who makes this possible.